I, I do want to respond to that allegation. The allegation is Texas passed a bill kind of like this, defunding Planned Parenthood, and deaths just dramatically increased. I believe she said they doubled. Well, I did a little research, because I was concerned about that. And indeed, uh, maternal deaths did go up in Texas. But the defunding of Planned Parenthood didn't take effect until 2013. The bill was passed. There was litigation that slowed it down, didn't let it go into effect until 2013. These increases in deaths occurred before that. And they were pretty dramatic. By 2013, we had seen doubling of deaths. Interesting thing, Senator Peterson forgot to tell us, 2014, they went down after Planned Parenthood had been defunded. The state of Texas established a committee to study this problem. This is a problem for them. The committee struggled. They said, we really can't pinpoint this. There are probably several reasons for it. For one thing, reporting's better. They got better information on these deaths. The causes are interesting. The biggest cause, heart problems. And by the way, these statistics have to do with deaths that occurred for some time after birth. They're not only things that happened at birth. Heart problems, drug overdoses, even homicides and suicides. There are all kinds of reasons. One final thing I, I found interesting that I just ran into in doing this research. Before the bill in Texas, there were 300 facilities providing services, um, planning services and abortion and so on, around Texas. Now, there are 3,000. And that's quite interesting to me because we're having a discussion here about, well, where are all these people going to get services now? As Senator Sinclair has pointed out, there are many, many facilities that will be able to provide these services. It looks like in Texas that's what happened. 